Iriarit Locomotion Museum in Shildon, <coughs> near Darlington, um, for the next project. Right? This fella, right? Let me get this fella's name right. Is it George or Robert? Is it a left? Robert Stevenson. I'm going to learn all this as we're doing it, you see. I didn't know. That's Robert Stevenson, son of George Stevenson, the father of the railways who invented locomotion. It says it on there. And it ran for the first time on the first public railway anywhere in the world, which is just over that fence there. The Stockton and Darlington Railway. It's just the on side of the Flying Scotsman. Um, and the train that ran on there is just in here. How are you getting on? This is what it's all about. Locomotion number one, V1. This is the first passenger train that ever went on a public railway. And hopefully, on the 200th anniversary, I'm going to drive it. Do you drive trains? You're only going where the track's telling you. <laughs> I'm going to hopefully get up to scratch enough to drive locomotion on its original line. That's the plan. As the original locomotion number one is now a fragile museum piece, Guy will need to help build a fully working replica. Oof. Learning the engineering skills which made steam-powered transport possible. It'll test working relationships, this job, won't it? He'll be trained to harness this technology that changed human history. And we're doing, what, 24 mile an hour? We failed to be moving here, hey? Eh? Pouring gear, mate. Jesus, going nearly spilled the tea. Meet the beasts which killed the steam locomotive. And this thing shakes the ground. <laughs> Then, exactly 200 years after its groundbreaking first journey, as locomotion number one once more sets out along its historic route. What an honor to be aboard. Guy will take to the track on the train that changed the world. We've got everything. We've got engineering, history, driving trains, getting mucky, museums. Yeah, what's not to like? <laughs>